When considering the normal op amp uh, connected as an amplifier, we will find typically this type of configuration whereby one of the inputs, inverting or non-inverting, is connected between a voltage divider in a feedback loop as well as an input resistance. Now this is just a typical configuration for an amplifier or an op amp as an amplifier and in order to calculate your typical gain for this circuit we use the formula of RF divided by the input resistance or that resistance over there. Now in this circuit we've got a closed loop. Now we can see from this formula over here that if my feedback resistance increases my overall gain is going to increase as well. If my input resistance increases that value with reference to the feedback resistance value then my gain will decrease. Now if we take this circuit and we remove our feedback resistor in order to give us that configuration. Now this resistor that was there in the feedback loop has been removed. We now see that this resistance has become a value of infinite ohms. Now if we incorporate this open loop into the concept of this formula we see that that value is approaching infinite and as a result my gain will now be infinite as well. Now, when doing calculations in an open loop circuit with specific matters of uh, gain, we know it's got an infinite open loop voltage gain. So as a result, whenever we want to calculate the output, we know that the voltage that develops over there will be equal to either the positive or the negative saturation values. Now because it's equal to either the positive or the negative saturation values we're only interested in the um, signal or the direction in other words either the positive or the negative. So when we incorporate this concept and we apply the gain then we use the gain of 200 kilo that'll force us to get a, a exorbitant value and we're only using that to calculate in order to see is my answer going to be equal to the positive supply or is it going to be equal to the negative supply values. Now when we take what we've just learned and we apply it to the following circuit I've got input voltage and my output voltage. There I've got my feedback resistor and we're going to call this resistor N or resistor 1. And if we're looking at this and we make that the inverting input and that the non-inverting input, this circuit is now known as my inverting amplifier. Now with the inverting amplifier, we see that the input connects through this resistor into the inverting input. We also see that the feedback connects to the inverting input. And as a result, if I want to calculate what my output voltage is, I use the formula minus Vn multiplied by Rf divided by Rn. That will determine the output voltage if I've got the input voltage. I can replace or manipulate this formula in order to determine any of my uh, other aspects. Now this zero volt, just by the way, connects straight through. 
Let's do that in red. That zero volts connects straight through and then my output is measured between zero volts and pin six. And then my input is applied across zero volts and the input of resistor one. When I looking when I look at this circuit, I see that if my input voltage that I apply to this circuit is a sine wave, that's V in, my output voltage will be 180 degrees out of phase because of the inverting nature of the signal or the inverting input over there. Now the way that this one works is my input voltage is applied to the inverting pin. That then wants to switch the output either equal to positive or negative supply voltage over there, but that voltage now divides back through the feedback resistor and the input resistor. As a result we get the following of my waveform. This input voltage on the non-inverting serves as a zero volt reference and that will then create my voltage following but in the reverse direction.